Hello everybody, it's me Sarah and I'm going to be traveling today. My last video I spoke about things that I bring with me while I'm traveling today. I figured I would go through a process with you, a vlog as you will. I will be flying to Glasgow and then getting a bus to Edinburgh to go and see my sister um, because she's living in Scotland. And I'm gonna vlog the trip and show you things that I do that make my life a little bit easier while I'm traveling. So this is the travel fit. When I'm traveling, I like to wear loose and baggy clothes, which these dungarees are. through security and now I'm hanging out in the sensory room in Shannon. It's very different to the one in Dublin, it's not as nice. Um, yeah, but there's a bubble machine. I just walked in, I didn't book it this time, um, but nobody's in here so it should be okay. I might turn off some of the main lights though and just hang out for a while before my flight. It's in um, like 50 minutes, so I'll have to leave in 10ish maybe. <laughs> yesterday. We went to the Craneside kitchen and then up to the sky bar um, and then we came home and now it's the next day. I've had a shower and dress and we're about to eat breakfast. So on my way to the botanical gardens. My hair is wet and it's cold so let's hope that I don't get sick. For some reason I forgot that it's winter and that Plants are dead in winter. Like, this is the rose garden. All I see is thorns. <laughs> I feel like usually this would all be flowers, but no. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. But I know that plants die off in the winter, so I shouldn't be. But still, I'm, I'm really sad about it. I wish you could see my face right now. Oh my god, I love it so much. This monstera, oh my goodness. Look at that variegation. I actually don't know what to do with myself. I don't think you understand how excited I am to have been able to witness that in person. Like, monsteras are one of my favorite plants, the fact that I just I'm so excited. Uh, I could happy them all day. Anyways, it's way too humid in here and it is making me want to cry, so I am going to go outside again. I'm on the university campus at the minute. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm attempting to get to Kelvin Grove, but I don't know where that is. We're going to a right room. <laughs> Everybody, it's day three in Glasgow. 
Last night was so fun. We went to a road room and then we went to mini golf, but like cool mini golf. Today I need to go and get a COVID test because I can't travel back home without one. So I need to do that. And then this evening we're going ice skating. Me and my sister and her boyfriend who's coming down tonight. So that'll be fun. We're about to get a bus into city center. Snowing a little bit, it's so pretty. So we just had a really nice game of play, um, it was me, my sister, her boyfriend and her housemate, which was cool. I lost, I came dead last, and I am crying inside, but it's, it's okay, it's fine. I was definitely overstimulated earlier, very nearly had a meltdown, even though I've been like protecting myself all day, I've been wearing either earplugs or headphones. But I think the noise combined with expending my energy in ways I don't usually. The cold, I can't handle the cold. And being social, like all of those combined have been like messing with my head a little bit. So it's been quite difficult. But yeah, um, that's the story. I'm going to sleep now. So good night. Good morning. It's day four. I'm going to Edinburgh today. I look like a mess. I am exhausted and I definitely feel like I've surpassed my limit. Yeah, that's so much fun. So I'm waiting for the bus now. The first bus I need to get to. So I've one bus down, I have one more to go, um, and it goes every 15 minutes so I'm not too worried about getting there. I think I might stop off for a coffee and then get whatever bus I fancy. Um, I'm really not in the mood to be traveling today, so I'm just trying to take things at my own pace. on it. It's scary. I'm on the wheel now. I hate heights by the way. Hello and welcome so to don't know what I'm doing, but wheel. I really don't like this. You can visit <laughs> oh, it's so high. I don't think you understand how terrified of heights I am. I thought this was a good idea because the city looks so pretty with the Christmas lights, but now I regret it deeply. <laughs> And the art installation so I do think it's pretty. The installation was six along the street. And fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And luxury this time this year. So have your I wanted to basically speak about things that are happening. I wasn't with it very much this morning. Um I'm struggling a lot today. Today is not a good day, and that's okay. And I'm just gonna try and take it a little bit easier. Shit's gonna be hard for the next few days. <laughs> Good morning. It's 6.30. I never wake up this early, so I feel like shit. I'm gonna get up, finish packing my bag, and check out and go. I'm dressed, ready, I have a cup of tea, um, let's go! On my way to the bus stop now, it's 
like seven o'clock. I was expecting a city to be more busy than this at seven o'clock, but apparently it's not. Um, yeah, I'll be at the bus station in like two minutes and then I'll be in the airport soon. For security, I'm gonna go grab myself a coffee, I think, um, and alcohol for my parents. <laughs> This airport is nice because they don't have a quiet area, but they kind of do. Like this whole hall is empty. That's why it's nice. Anyways, I think I'm going to the date. Look at the sunrise. <sighs> okay, I'm hiding in a little corner in the airport. Um, it's nice. The main wings for exit. Unless exempt, please. In usual, typical Sarah fashion, I forgot to finish this video. I basically got home, cuddled my cat, and slept for ages because I was so exhausted. I think traveling is always going to be a learning curve for me because I always think that I'm okay and then I end up doing things and I'm not. And it's it's really complicated because my support needs are constantly fluctuating. Sometimes I can do like 20,000 things, that's an exaggeration, in one day and sometimes I can hardly get out of bed. Um, and I think just going from like one of those days to like and I don't want to travel, I don't even want to leave my sister's couch it was like really hard for me because like I had been having so much fun and then my brain was like not today Sarah which was like really difficult for me um, when I got to Edinburgh um, but yeah it was a really fun trip too I really enjoyed like the rage room and seeing the Monstera Albo, oh my god. I'm still so excited about that and it's been like a week since I got home. <laughs> um, and the mini golf, it was so fun. That's it for this video. That's how I travel as an autistic person. Get support in the airport when I need it, go to sensory rooms when I need it, um, wear my headphones and earplugs constantly unless I'm in like a safe environment. Try to listen to my limits and fail miserably and just take everything day by day. Thanks so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Um, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>